Six-year-old Ferdia Zant is acutely malnourished. His spindly legs can no longer support him to walk. He is confined to a bed at the Kamal Adwan Hospital in northern Gaza, where famine is bearing down. Ferdi suffers from cystic fibrosis. This is him before the war with his twin and dancing at a wedding. He didn't feel he was ill, his mother Shima says. He went to kindergarten with his brother like any other child. Then, she says, Fadi was taking medicine that his family can no longer find and eating a balanced diet, vegetables, fruits and his favourite, grilled chicken. Fadi's condition began to deteriorate about two months ago. He'd sometimes have 10 bouts of diarrhoea a night. Before the war, he weighed 66 pounds. Now, his mother says, just 26. Dehydration from diarrhea, rampant in the tent cities many Gazans now live in, hastens malnutrition. Without urgent action, famine will hit between now and May in northern Gaza, where 300,000 people are trapped by fighting. That's according to the world's hunger watchdog, the Integrated Food Security Phase classification, on Monday. If the war continues, his condition is getting worse. He is getting weaker. He keeps losing things. He can no longer walk. He can no longer stand. When I help him stand up, he falls straight away. He cannot hold himself. Kamal Adwan has treated most of the 27 children the health ministry in Hamas run Gaza says have died of malnutrition and dehydration in recent weeks. Reuters couldn't verify that number. More than five months into Israel's ground and air assault, launched in response to Hamas's October 7th attack, there are widespread shortages of food, medicine and clean water in Gaza, doctors and aid agencies say. The Israeli military body that handles aid transfers to Gaza did not specifically answer Reuters' questions about the deaths of children from hunger and dehydration. It said Israel put no limits on how much aid can enter. Here at the Al Auda Center in Rafah, in the south, Umm Esbah Hedji says her five-year-old daughter Isra suffers from quadriplegia, epilepsy, and now malnutrition. Her medication is no longer available and she has lost a lot of weight. Displaced like nearly all Gazans, the family now lives in a camp with no work or money. I die 1,000 times a day. I feel bad for her when I see her having spasms. There's no medication. She's hungry. I know she's hungry. The ward nurse, Amira Abu Jawayad, says the hospital is unable to get enough milk for the children. The situation is catastrophic. Every day it gets worse. The children here are suffering from malnutrition. We see it in a frightening way each day. We have 5 to 10 cases of children who have severe deficiency in nutrition, especially milk. On March 4th, 12-year-old Yazan Al-Kafana, who had cerebral palsy, died in southern Gaza, days after Reuters took these photographs. As well as for children like Fadi, Isra and Yazan, who have pre-existing medical conditions, risks are rapidly rising for many other kids in Gaza, UN agencies say. Children's agency UNICEF said last week nearly one in three children under two in northern Gaza suffer from acute malnutrition, twice as many as in January. It found that 4.5% of children had severe wasting, the most life-threatening form of malnutrition.